right, this is day three and a half. I'm gonna go to Miniature Wonderland, Minotaur Wonderland. Um, but first I had to come to the train station and get some currywurst. Uh, this is a, a food truck called uh, Mom for President. They really specialize in fries, but they had currywurst and this is the first time I've had to have some since I was here. Um, it's basically a bratwurst with ketchup and curry sauce. Um, but it's definitely a special treat. And the hotel, since I opted not to get room service, gave me free a uh, bottle of water. And it's a glass bottle with a, um, with a top that it's not a twisty. <laughs> and I didn't bring my bottle opener because I was like, oh, I'm not gonna drink any bottles at you know, opening. But um, this guy, I asked people if they had a bottle opener. This guy had a, uh, a lighter and he popped it with his lighter. So, so good on the friendly uh, Germans to help me out in that pinch. Uh, but I'm going to take the uh, the U-Bahn to the Miniature Wonderland. Um, it is still the third. This is day three and a half. I slept for like six hours. My sleep schedule is all wonky. But come along and join me on this episode of The Most Epic Adventures. Now I am in half in the city. It's just a part of Hamburg. It's a police station. You see all the uh, tour boats. And then you've got the Frozen show here and then the Lion King next to it. And then right here, all of these romantic love walks on the bridge. And then this building here, whoa, out of focus. That building there, it's got a weird top too. It's a very interesting design. But across the street here, you see pick people taking pictures bridge the building okay so that's a concert hall it's cool how the bottom half is like the old bricks around here the top half is that's a crazy design shit the sound in there is awesome i'm trying to find i'm trying to find uh miniature wonderland but my uh internet's not working i don't know why So I am in the waiting area. It's, it's actually really nice. Um, there are their booths that are cushioned, free drinks. I'm drinking New Germany. You gotta drink Fanta. Look at the Fanta. It's not the fake orange Fanta. It, it tastes way different. Um, it's really good. I'm not drinking a lot of this. I am drinking water. But... It's okay to treat yourself a little Fanta from time to time. All right, so I put the microphone on. Here is my ticket. It was 20 euros. That includes the tax and everything. So it was 20 euros straight up. Um, this has been voted as the number one attraction in all of Germany. Um, so yeah, it's a huge wait. But she said it was, at first she said it was 115 minutes, then she said it was 95 minutes. And I was like, that's cool, I'll wait. It's, and this is actually, I said, I'm, I'm used to waiting uh, in lines at Disney World, so this is nothing. Especially considering you can sit in a comfortable room with free beverages. There's a pinball machine over there. Oh, there's people playing it, I don't know if you can hear it. But yeah, I'm excited now. Oh, and they are open every, well, I think almost every day from 7 a.m. to 1 a.m. It's pretty crazy. Um, that's how popular this place is. And I'm here, it's almost 9 o'clock at night. And like, there's still like an hour and a half wait. So it's fine. Um, I slept a lot today. My schedule is all wonky. But I think this will be worth it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. When you start and exit in the gift shop, you have all kinds of stuff. Lots of merchandise for sale. This is the uh, Olympic Stadium, maybe? But yeah, this is what a concert looks like. I think this is supposed to be the American Southwest. 
The largest model train set in the world. Maybe this is Italy. This kind of looks Italian. I don't know. Is it so open? It's the train. First train sighting. The world's largest train set here is Rome. I'm not going there on this trip, but I can virtually go there with this miniature version of it. There's obviously the Colosseum, Trippy Fountain over there. I can see. Again, not going there this time. They even have an underground layer down there for the, for the, the monks. You can't have the world's largest train set to have a few uh, train stations here. So here's the Roman train station. Oh my god. Look at how far back this goes. They tell you it's the world's largest model train set. It's hard to, it's hard to imagine until you actually see it. It's also, it's, it's like almost 10.30 at night and this place is packed. I can totally understand why. There's uh, timed times when you have to go in. You have a whole festival around you have the porta potties. Here's the actual music festival, like I'm supposed to be at. Oh, it looks like they had a mudslide over there. Or actually, no, it's a volcano. It's a track on an elevator. Look at that. Where's that train going? This is the Bavaria section. There's Neuenstein Castle. Here is a model of the airport. Oh my goodness. Wait a second, what's that doing there? Oh, we got a landing here. Oh, the tunnel. We go in spelunking. This is crazy how huge this is. They even have arrival and departure times. That's amazing. Well, no, there's a thunderstorm. It's probably not the best time for air balloons to go. This is Austria. The ski slopes. Look at the. Look at the. That is crazy. People in there. I don't know what this is, but it's very cool. Let me know in the comments what is this building? Oh, if I can tell us, it helps. Henry House of the Gardens. Interesting. This is like their whole master control suite controlling. All of the trains even have like a video of the plane coming down over there in the airport. That's so cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. 
That's the uh, Volk Stadium where uh, Hamburger HSB play. I might go by there. Uh, I'm not a fan of them, but still might be cool to see the real version in person. Yeah, so this is Miniature Hamburg. This is the TV Tower. I, I gotta find out if I can go in the TV Tower. This is definitely the American Southwest. Changing landscapes and colors. This looks like it's Florida, Miami. Got some swamps over there. Space shuttle launch that's still in Florida. Got uh, Las Vegas. Not exactly. There's Excalibur I've stayed there, been inside the uh, Luxor. That's pretty cool. Kind of twisted around. Treasure Island, I think, is gone. Passenger Station, Las Vegas. Okay, that's what the old Las Vegas Rail Station is going to have. No They're about to have a new station, Brightline. It's moving a train from Las Vegas to Los Angeles. Oh. Back over to Hamburg. It's famous brick warehouses with bridges. One thing they're doing is they keep changing the lights from dark to light so you can see all the lights. You can see it in light mode and dark mode. It's really cool. Going to dock. Moonsprachen, I think. There's the opera building we saw just around the corner from here. And there's the Lion King tent building and the Frozen one. Maybe I should go see Frozen, even though it's in German. It seems like fun. Surfing, and surfing. Wow. That is actual water. That crab's not real, but they actually put water in here. Some of the other points have like uh, uh, epoxy. But I guess this is the uh, Norwegian. You gotta see the little Norwegian flags down there. Yeah. Going all over the world. Definitely in Scandinavia. Everything's always covered in ice and snow. Where's Santa Claus? Somewhere back there. Maybe Superman's Fortress of Solitude. Here are all of their awards for being the coolest, best place uh, for tourists to visit in all of Germany. Interesting. Well, you gotta exit where you enter through the gift shop. So let's see if I can find a sticker and a pen. All right. The miniature Wonderland is right next to the Hamburg dungeon with lots of torture stuff, which is kind of weird because there are a lot of kids here. It's almost 11.30 p.m. I got here. Um, I bought my ticket at 8.51, and they called my number at, like, 10.11. So it was, like, an hour and 20 minutes, but it kind of it breezed by. Um, I 
got to post those two videos from the last couple of days because the Wi-Fi is better here than at the hotel. Um, and they even actually have a newspaper, <laughs> a newspaper for the train. I don't know what it says. I don't read German, but it's still pretty neat. Uh, it's, and it's free, zero euros. I got a sticker and a pen for three euros and 40 cents. That's amazing. Um, so the, the pen's going on my pen board, the sticker's going on the car. And guys, I will very much like it. If you dropped a comment down, let me know what you like the best, slapping that like button. I, I have all the likes hidden, but I do still see how many people like it. So that really helps out. YouTube sees it as well. So guys, thanks again for coming with me. I'm trying to make the best out of a bad situation. Um, 20 euros for this is worth it. It was very impressive. And it's one of those things like, until you see it for yourself, this video doesn't even do it justice. You have to see it for yourself. There were lots of metal heads here. Lots of people wearing whacking shirts. Lots of people wearing different band shirts. Um, they're all just stuck here. Because <laughs> uh, they can't go back to wherever it is they're going. So, um, if you can't go to whacking, come to Miniature Wonderland like me. All right, guys, until next time, I'm going to drink Vosser. Listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventures! Something I've seen around, it's a uh, souvenir zero euro bill, but you pay two euros to get it. But it's just a souvenir. Very cool. Check out my other videos from this trip. Um, took a lot for me to get here. It's not exactly what I hoped it would be, so I appreciate all of your support. Thanks.